I'm in Target in West Covina, California, and this is what they're pushing on their agenda. Okay, no way. POV, you take your kid to Target. This is cool, queen, queen, queen. <laughs> Queens take care of each other. Where's the straight section for straight and kids? Indoctrination of kids and you're like behind. So that was a little montage of some of the saddest people uh, in the world, uh, all freaking out by the fact that Target had stuff for pride. They were selling some clothing items for pride month, which is coming up and they were absolutely losing their minds. Grown men take, taking a camera and pointing it at a photo of two people that says uh, like be proud or something and freaking out over it. No way, no, not here, not where the kids could see have pride or whatever. Fully grown adults who go about their lives, they have careers, they operate automobiles, breaking down at the idea that there's a rainbow on clothing. But anyway, that was just a sampling. Because social media was full of that stuff on TikTok and whatever's left of Twitter, Fox News, the independent right wing media, all the same message all across all of them. And it looks like they're getting some version of what they want. Target is apparently now making some changes to their displays for Pride Month. They're removing certain items from their stores, moving some of it to the backs of stores, especially quote in some southern stores after confrontations and backlash from shoppers in those areas. Because to be clear, and it is clear from those videos, this isn't just some really sad people taking a video and putting it online. They are harassing and berating and in some cases physically assaulting the people that work there who I'm sure came up with this whole campaign. It's all their idea, the people working at the target. Um, and so here's the statement that they put out. And, and I want you to want you to really pay attention to this as you bear in mind that right wingers are celebrating the great victory that they've had here. Here's what Target said. Since introducing this year's collection, we've experienced threats impacting our team's members sense of safety and well being while at work. Given these volatile circumstances, we are making adjustment to our plans, including removing items that have been at the center of the most significant confrontational behavior. What I think that is a reference to is there are tuck friendly bathing suits. And what right wingers have been doing is they saw that Target was selling tuck friendly adult bathing suits and they thought, well, that angers me, but that doesn't get people fired up to potentially murder Target employees good enough. So I'm just gonna lie and say that they're doing that for kids. That it's kids tuck friendly bathing suits, it's not. And yet everywhere you looked were right wingers saying they're selling it for kids, they're selling it for kids. Either ignorant because they don't actually care about any of this or openly lying because they know that's what will get people fired up to go harass people who are just trying to earn a living. And so they've now succumbed, Target is moving to the back of the store, they're removing some of the items because they're worried that people at their stores are gonna continue to be harassed and assaulted. It's a great social movement that they've got there, JR. So midterms came, uh, the red wave didn't happen. They said they were gonna change all these things. I've said this so many times. They said they're gonna change all these things. Uh, uh, we're worried about inflation, gas prices, jobs, the border. But instead, this is what they've got their voters focused on. And it's pretty obvious they're happy for this because what's actually happening is they're changing laws and screwing over even those same voters. They've got them going to the Target stores and threatening employees, kicking over displays, looking at rainbow colored, patterns on shirts and pants and, and words written on shirts and pants and they lose their effing minds. And this is what they're focused on. And then Target of course has to fold and many people are getting on Target's case and to a degree I'm not. Um, because look, they have to protect their employees, they're getting threats. We've got terrorism. So uh, imagine if a group of Muslim folks ran up into a Target store, ran up into any other store. And said, where is the pictures of Muhammad? How come there's pictures of Jesus in this store? How come there's something about prayer here? Or if they go into a bookstore and there's a Bible, where, why are there Bibles here? And they start throwing them across the shelves. Then I don't even know if this story even exists anymore. B. Dalton bookstores, is that <laughs> something from just the Midwest? And then they close uh, down their store stores out. and say, "Oh my bad. All of these Muslims, radical Muslims came in here and they were very upset about this anti-Muslim rhetoric that they deem anti-Muslim just because it doesn't specifically focus on solely them. 
They start throwing books all over the place, ripping up clothes, burning it, kicking over displays. So we have to back the way. Do you think these folks would say, "Oh, these are just good American Muslims trying to get by and make sure that they have their free religious freedom? No, I don't think they would. This is why they keep denying the fact that homegrown white nationalist terrorism is the number one kind of terrorism that we're dealing with. This is another form of it. So threats to kill someone or threats to harm someone because they put on a red shirt and khaki pants and work in a Target store. So you threaten them. They have no yeah. idea how the system works. They think these target employees got together in the back room and said, hey, you guys, let's put together this pride display that no one else is doing anywhere else in the world. Let's put it in front of the store. And then our managers, our, our, our regional supervisors, they have no idea what's going on. It's the employees that did this, right, you guys? So you come after them because they're walking around the store asking, you need any help, sir? This yeah. is the degree to which we've gotten to this point with these stupid ass arguments. And by the way, you know what they think? Do you know what they think? They think a 12 year old is gonna run up in this store, see a shirt that says queer, 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 queer on it. And then previous to that, they, uh, they say it's a little girl, was attracted to little boys. Then after that, she's like, "Oh, I think I like girls now because a shirt said queer on it four times. And that changed my brain. The degree to which they have no idea how anything works in the world is astounding. And they've convinced enough people that it makes sense. So um, maybe since that's the magical remedy, once your little girl starts loving other little girls because of a shirt, I have a solution, I have a solution. It works with your thought process. Get a shirt that says straight, 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 straight. It'll fix everything. Oh, I'm sure they will, JR. <laughs> I'm sure you can probably buy one of those right now. Um, yeah, it doesn't make it. Why sense. doesn't that work? Why doesn't the opposite work since this it works that way? Get a shirt. Yeah, why doesn't just it red. fix everyone? If you think these people are broken, why is it that they've seen a million straight kisses on TV? Does again, <laughs> like we're trying to reason with people that are fundamentally not reasonable, either because they don't have the intellectual or emotional apparatus to be reasonable, or they're not actually expressing things that they really believe. This is just a means to an end. Now you said that you'd have to be really stupid to believe that stuff that seeing this the shirt is gonna change people's There might be some people who are doing this that are actually that stupid. The rest of them are just doing it, not because they think it's gonna hurt the kids. It's because they do not want it to exist, that's it. Like the, the, the people doing the little videos. I don't know if they actually have been successfully propagandized to to believe that this still has anything to do with kids. Because I want to, it seems explicit, but I think every once in a while, it's important to really just stop for a second and realize where we've gotten to as a country. They started this whole thing a couple of years ago saying uh, kids are being preyed upon in schools, so we need to do something. Now it's just you've got rainbow shirts for adults, that's unacceptable. It is 20 freaking 23 and just having a pride section is not allowed anymore. You're not allowed to do that. Crow the people that love to say that they're pro freedom. You cannot sell a rainbow sweatshirt for 47 year old men. You're not allowed to do that anymore. You should be regulated. The same people, of course, freak out if you suggest that voluntarily people maybe eat like a little bit less meat because that'll help with climate change. How dare you? How dare you suggest that I voluntarily change my behavior? But no, these businesses should be stopped from offering adult clothing with multiple colors on it. Because when I see that, I freak out, I fall apart as a person. I just can't take it anymore. That's what full grown adults are going around the country and saying and having us believe that this is a serious thing. Here is the issue for these people. I want you to really pay attention. I'm gonna keep it to just a few words so it's easy to absorb. There are gay kids, there are trans kids, there are non-binary kids, there are bi kids, there are queer kids, there are gender fluid kids. And no amount of hatred, no amount of xenophobia, no amount of culture war attacks, no amount of fascism is gonna change that. They're gonna be what they're gonna be. You just might, if you're successful in your fascism, able to make them that but unhappy or that and at risk of taking their own life. That is the best case scenario for you. And every one of them says that they're motivated by the Bible, that this is divinely inspired, a campaign of hatred inspired by God himself. Congratulations on your victory, by the way. <laughs> um, anyway, by the way, they're still selling most of the stuff. It's just in the back of the store, but they're still, God, we live in a dumb country. We live in an utterly failed state. And I mean that in every sense of the word.
We've got a lot of choices when it comes to boxed breakfast cereal. But other than that, we're a failed state. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Cast or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.